Good afternoon, brothers and sisters in Christ. Let us include in our prayers the following intentions flash on the screen.
Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. We are on the fourth Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Ed Fernandez, RCJ. Please stand and join the choir in singing the entrance song. <laughs> together as God's family with confidence let us ask our father's forgiveness for he is full of gentleness and compassion Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Christ have mercy Christ have mercy Lord have mercy Lord have mercy and may Almighty God have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated and listen to the word of God. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The word of the Lord came to me, saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I dedicated you, a prophet to the nations, I appointed you. But do you gird your loins? Stand up and tell them all that I command you. Be not crushed on their account, as though I would leave you crushed before them. For it is I this day who have made you a fortified city, a pillar of iron, a wall of brass against the Holland, against Judah's kings and princes, against its priests and people. They will fight against you, but not prevail over you. For I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will sing of your salvation. I will sing of your salvation. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me. I will sing of your salvation. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and my fortress. O oh my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. I will sing of your salvation. For you are my hope, O oh Lord, my trust, O oh God, 
from my youth. On you, I depend from birth. From my mother's tomb, you are my strength. I will sing of your salvation. My mouth shall declare your justice, day by day, your salvation. O God, you have taught me from my youth. Until the present, I proclaim your wondrous deeds. I will sing of your salvation. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, strive eagerly for the greatest spiritual gifts, but I shall show you a still more excellent way. If I speak in human and angelic tongues, but do not have love, I am a resounding gong or a clashing symbol. And if I have the gift of prophecy and comprehend all mysteries and all knowledge, if I have all faith so as to move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away everything I own, and if I hand my body over so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It is not jealous. It is not pompous. It is not inflated. It is not rude. It does not seek its own interests. It is not quick-tempered. It does not brood over injury. It does not rejoice over wrongdoing but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. If there are prophecies, they will be brought to nothing. If tongues, they will cease. If knowledge, it will be brought to nothing. For we know partially and we prophesy partially. But when the perfect comes, the partial will pass away. When I was a child, I used to talk as a child, think as a child, reason as a child. When I became a man, I put aside childish things. At present, we see indistinctly as in a mirror but then face to face. At present, I know partially. Then I shall know fully, as I am fully known. So faith, hope, love remain. These three, but the greatest of this is love. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand.
your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus began speaking in the synagogue, saying, Today, this scripture passage is fulfilled in your hearing. And all spoke highly of him and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth. They also asked, Isn't this the son of Joseph? He said to them, Surely you will quote me this proverb, Physician, cure yourself, and say, Do here in your native place the things that we heard were done in Capernaum. And he said, Amen, I say to you, no prophet is accepted in his own native place. Indeed, I tell you, there were many widows in Israel in the days of Elijah, when the sky was closed for three and a half years, and a severe famine spread over the entire land. It was to none of this that Elijah was sent, but only to a widow and Sarephat in the land of Sidon. Again, there were many lepers in Israel during the time of Elisha the prophet, yet not one of them was cleansed, but only Naaman the Syrian. When the people in the synagogue heard this, they were all filled with fury. They rose up, drove him out of the town, and led him to the brow of the hill on which their town had been built to hurl him down headlong. But Jesus passed through the midst of them and went away. Brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good afternoon to everyone. Good afternoon, Father. Kindly greet your seatmates. Good afternoon. Meron pong isang, ano nga tawag sa ibo na nagsasalita? Hindi, yung isa pa. May na, o. Oh. Ano ba mas magaling magsalita? No? Pareho, o. Oh. Anyway, tinuruan siya magsalita. Ang natutunan niyang unang-una, yung salitang pangit. Sa so, may dadaan tao, sasabi niya, pangit, pangit. So, ganun, no? Pangit, pangit. Eh, may dumaang babae. Anong sabi niya? Lagyan niya naman ng konting, ano, pangit, pangit. Anong sabi niya? Galing niya talaga, ano. Eh, pangit nga yung babae. So, napatingin na gano'n. Manda ka sa akin, na. Tapos, dumaan uli. Anong sabi niya? Pangit, pangit. No? Sabi na babae, eto pag umabot ang pangatlo, bibingo sa akin to. Eh, dumaan uli siya. Akala niya mag-iiba eh. Anong sabi uli? Pangit, pangit. Ulitin mo pa yan, kanya kakalbuhin kita. Anong sabi ng Mayna? Sabi ng Mayna, joke lang po, joke lang po. No? Kumambyo. No? Alam nyo, ang katotohanan, masakit, matalas. No? As what Jesus said in the synagogue. Initially, the people were speaking highly of Him. When, they, when Jesus was speaking of things, they want to hear. They were all speaking favorably of the Lord. But when Jesus spoke the truth, that the kingdom of God is not only for the Jews, but also for non-Jews, then they were offended. They were insulted. They cannot accept that truth. Masakit po ang totoo. Kaya yung unang mga kudyo na nagsasalita ng maganda kay Jesus, nung narinig nila yung hindi ka aya-aya sa kanilang paninig, pandinig, anong ginawa nila? Abay, pinagtula ka nila si Jesus at nais niya, nila silang ihulog sa bangin. Mga kapatid, si Jesus, ano man ang mangyari, hindi po siya natatakot sabihin ang totoo. Siguro ito yung isang tingnan natin sa ating sarili because we are all prophets. And a prophet speaks the truth. I would like to ask you, do you speak the truth? Can we speak the truth? Pag nagkikita-kita tayo, do, do we speak the truth? No? Minsan, kung gusto niyang marinig, okay. Pero yung, pag yung truth pero hindi pangit, ang hirap sabihin. And to play safe, ano po ang madalas nating, pag nagtitipon tayo, ano yung madalas nating language. 
Etchos. Ini-etchos na lang natin, no? Pansin niyo yan. Uy, ang ganda ng hair mo. Feel na feel naman ng isa. Ang ganda ng kilay mo. Pero sa loob niya, kala mo lang yun, pangit kaya. No? So difficult to say the truth. Jesus shows to us when we need to speak the truth, we have to speak the truth. At all cost, whatever it takes. Christian life is not a popularity contest. Tandaan nyo yan. It's not a popularity contest na kailangan yung gusto nilang marinig, yun ang sasabihin ko. Hindi po. Christianity means being witnesses of the truth. And Jesus, cost his, it cost Jesus' life, it cost Him His life because He spoke the truth. Masakit talaga yan. No? Yung maraming tao nandun lang sa level ng etyos. Kasi pagka sinabi mo yung totoo, masakit. Kahit pare, nasasaktan eh. Ito, ito experience ko. May isang priest. Yung mga tao, ayaw dun sa kanya. Maraming, ganyan naman tayo, di ba? Pag yung priest, pinag-uusapan natin, usually hindi maganda eh. Tama ba? <laughs> Tama, no? Di ba? O yung boss nyo, pinag Pag pinag-uusapan ng talik, kaya din tayo nagre-resort eh, sa talikuran na laban kasi hindi natin masabi ng totoo, harapan, di ba? Pinag-uusapan nyo ba ng talikuran, uy, ang bait-bait ng boss ko. Hindi, di ba? Usually yung pangit. Hindi natin masabi ng harapan. No? Kasi pag sinabi mo, ma-offend yung boss mo, baka forever ka na dyan sa pwesto mo, hindi ka na ma-promote. But even priest, ha? ito nga ako, kwento ko, yung isang priest, Eh ako, ewan ko, pag nagmamas ako doon sa mga lugar, minsan, I mean, na they like me naman, in modesty aside, no? So they would, they would vent out yung mga sama ng loob nila doon sa priest. Ako naman, ayoko kasi yun eh. I don't want people talking against others. So I, ako yung nag, sabi ko doon sa pare one time, Father, usap tayo. Gusto ko lang pong i-ano sa inyo, ano bang tawag niyan? Feedback. Ito po yung sinasabi ng mga tao sa inyo. Feedback lang. Without judging, ito po yung para po aware kayo. Alam mo, nagalit. Pari na yan. Sobra naman yan. Sobra naman sila. Eh, ikaw nga, ito nga ang sinasabi nila sa'yo eh. Oo. Lagi ka daw late. Totoo ba yan? Aron, totoo ba yan? <laughs> Hindi, di ba? Hindi, sinabi niya yun talaga. Parang, hindi naman script yan. Ano? Lagi ka daw late? Apa, wala na, hindi na ako nag-ano. Kasi, na bad trip eh. Eh, masakit ang totoo, di ba? Lagi ka daw late? So, even priest, no? even kahit sino, masasaktan pag natamaan yung totoo. Amen? But we have to speak the truth. We have to, we have to be witnesses to the truth. Christian life is not a popularity contest. It is witnessing to the truth. But sabi ko nga, masakit ang katotohanan. May kakambal po ang totoo. Sa buhay kristyano, hindi ho pwedeng totoo lang. May kakambal yan eh. Ano kaya yung kakambal ng totoo? Ito yung laging sinasabi ni Pope Benedict. Ano kakambal ng totoo? Truth and charity. And this is what Paul is talking about in the, in the second reading. Very beautiful, no? Love is patient, love is kind. Hindi pwedeng totoo lang, masakit yun eh. Dapat yung totoo, sasabihin mo din ng maayos. Yung tipong hindi mapapahiya yung kapwa mo. Amen? Hindi rin pwedeng charity lang, walang truth. Bolahan na yun. Yung bang... Pinagaganda mo yung kwento na hindi na totoo, bolahan na yon. Hindi naman pwedeng totoo lang, masakit naman yon. Dapat magkakambal. And it's not by chance that our readings today are a combination of these two things. Speaking the truth. Don't be afraid to speak the truth, especially if your intention is love. Love never ends. Pag mahal mo yung tao, hindi ka matatakot o mag-aatubiling sabihin yung totoo. 
Kasi malinis yung konsensya mo. Pag sinabi mo yan sa iba in public, mapapaya. Kasi baka gusto mo lang talagang ipahiya. Kambal po yan. Kambal. No? Hindi pwedeng paghiwalayin. Totoo at pagmamahal. Ito po ang nais ko sanang pagnilaya natin ngayong araw na ito. Gaano ba, ta- gaano ba ako katotoo? Gaano ba ako kamapagmahal? Magsitayo tayong lahat. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us lift to God all our needs and our concerns and the needs and concerns of our community. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who serve the church may always stand up for the gospel values and never be dismayed or discouraged by opposition or lack of response. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those in the position of power and those who wish to serve our country may dedicate their lives to protect and promote the dignity of life. May they also be examples of upright living and zealous service, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the celebration of the Eucharist may strengthen all families to welcome the gift of new life, zealed by virtue of holy matrimony, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That through the sacramental ministries of the church, may the healing power of Christ restore the health of sick and the handicapped, comfort the lonely and the elderly, and relieve the pain of those who suffer physically and emotionally, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the young in our community, may they experience God's immense and personal love through their families, friends, and environment, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray that people who exercise authority in the government and in the church and in the families may be strengthened in our witnessing for the truth and for charity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us continue to pray for peace in our country, for peace in Mindanao. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we ask all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
Brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gather them again to yourself, that a people form as one by the unity of the Trinity, made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit, might to the praise of your manifold wisdom be manifest as a church. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. fount of all holiness make holy therefore this gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jesse, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who Lord art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, thy will, thy be, will done be done on earth, on earth as, it as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, Jesus, our risen Lord, the Lamb of God who takes away our sins and the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For an orderly receiving of Holy Communion by Rose, Please allow our ushers to guide you.
Let us pray. Please stand. Nourished by these Redeemer gifts, we pray, O Lord, that those through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. In, the, behalf, okay. in behalf of the entire Feast Bellevue AM family, we would like to thank Father Ed Fernandez for celebrating the Holy Eucharist with us.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.